Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Adelusen Mathematics. So today we will be discussing about the Heron's formula, class 9 NCRT book. So Heron's formula is basically a formula which is used to find the area of a triangle. Already you have found out the area of a triangle and you know the formula that area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. But we will be using the Heron's formula now to find out the area of a triangle. Let's see. So students, here you can see in the board that I have drawn two triangles. In the first triangle, I have point out the base and the height. And in the second triangle, I have point out the three sides whose length is taken as A, B and C. So students, you have already got this formula before that if the base and the height of a triangle is given, to find out the area of this triangle, we can use the formula that is half into base into height. So this one you have already got in the lower classes and you have already used it. But now, what is this Heron's formula? We will talk about that. You see students, if the base and the height of a triangle is given, then we can find out the area of the triangle by using this formula that which that is half into base into height. But if the length of the three sides of a triangle is given, you can see in this figure now, that in this figure there are three sides and the three sides I am taking as A, B and C. The length of the three sides I am taking as A, B and C. It can be any length. It can be 5, 6, 7 say for example. If the three sides of a triangle is given, how to find out the area? You see you can't use this formula to find out the area here. Because you see here if you take any one of this side as base but you don't have the height. If you want to use this formula that is half into base into height you need both base and height. But here that formula can't be used because here the height is not given. Height means always the uh, height means it should be always perpendicular. So the height of this triangle is not given. Only the three sides is given. So how to find out the area of this triangle we'll be learning. So we can find out uh, the area of this triangle by using this formula which is known as Heron's formula. And according to Heron's formula the area of a triangle is, is equal to root over S into S minus A, S minus B and S minus C where S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. That is the semi-perimeter. And A, B, C are of course the sides. So that's, that is the Heron's formula. So we will be discussing about this formula in this topic. And uh, by using this formula, how you can find out the area of triangle, we will learn that. So let's see. So students, now by using that Heron's formula, we will be doing some problem. In this video, we will be discussing exercise 12.1. And at first I will be showing you that how to solve this question number 3, exercise 12.1, question number 3 and CRT book. So let's see what it is written here. There is a slide in a park. One of its side walls has been painted in some color with a message keep the park green and clean. If the sides of the wall are 15 meter, 11 meter and 6 meter, find the area painted in color. So you see in question number 3 what they are saying basically that there is a slide like this where there is a message written here you can see that one in the book the message written here that is keep the park green and clean and it is a triangle and the sides of this triangle that is 11 meters, 6 meters and 15 meters it is given and you need to find out the area of this triangle using Heron's formula. So let's see how to find out the area of this triangle by using the Heron's formula. So students, you can see here now, I have taken the three sides, that is 11 meter, 6 meter and 15 meter as A, B and C respectively. After that, I will be finding out the value of S. And we already know from the formula that S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. So if I put the values of A plus B plus C here, that is 11 plus 6 plus 15, we get 32 and 32 divided by 2 is 16. That means the value of S is 16. So... I will be putting all this value in the formula to find out the area of the triangle. So now students you can see I have written the area of the triangle formula that is a root over s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and there I have put the values of s 
that we know that uh, s we have already got 16 so in place of s i put 16 here then i put the values of s and a b and c from the contents written there so after that if we simplify this 16 i written here 16 minus 11 is 5 16 minus 6 is 10 and 16 minus 15 is 1 i written and after that i have factorized 16 so 16 if i factorize if i factorize 16 then i will get 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 5 I am written, I have written as it is. This 10 if I factorize then I will get 5 into 2 and this 1 I have written as it is. So I have factorized the numbers. So students after that we know that to find out the square root of this number we have to make pairs like this. From this pair of 2, 1, 2 will come out. From this pair of 2, 1, 2 will come out. From this pair of 5, 1, 5 will come out. And this 2 into 1 will be, rem will be remaining inside the root over since they are not in pairs. So finally, if I multiply this, the answer we have got as 20 root over 2 meter square. That means the area of this triangle is 20 root over 2 meter square. So like that, we can find out the area of triangle. So students, next we will be doing question number 4. In question number 4, it is written here, find the area of a triangle. Find the area of this triangle, two sides of which are 18 and 10. Here two sides are given. That is one is 18 centimeter and one is 10 centimeter. That third side is not given. Only two sides are given. That is 18 and 10. And the perimeter is given. Perimeter means the sum of all the sides. The sum of all the sides of this triangle is called perimeter. And the sum of all the sides of, of this triangle is given as 42 centimeter. That is the perimeter is given as 42 centimeter. And you see how to find out the area of this triangle. So same we will be using the Harris formula here to find out the area of this triangle. So how to do it? Let's see. So students you see here I have written the two sides that is 18 and 10 I have taken as A and B. The third side that is C we don't know till now. And a perimeter is given that is 42 centimeter. And we know perimeter means the sum of all the sides. Means it is equal to A plus B plus C. Means the three sides that is ABC. If we add then it will be equal to 42. So if I put the value of A and B here, from here we can find out the value of C which is equal to 14 cm. So now we have got the three sides A, B and C and we know that uh, if we know the three sides of a triangle then we, we can use the Heron's formula to find out the area of this triangle. So the same procedure you have to follow and you have to find out the area of this triangle. So you see how to do it. After that I have found out the value of S. S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. And A plus B plus C, that is the perimeter which is already given in the equation, which is equal to 42 I have written. And 42 divided by 2 is 21. That means the value of S, we have got S21. So he, this, if we put in the formula, we already know that the area of the triangle, the Heron's formula, we already know that is the area of the triangle is equal to root over S into S minus C into S minus B into S minus C. So here, if we put the value of S, A, B and C, so like this we get... And if I simplify this, the same way, we will get the answer of this triangle. Area of this triangle will be equal to 21 root over 11 centimeter square. So this way we can find out the area of this triangle. So students, question number 4 and question number 6 is same. So you can solve question number 6 the same way we have solved question number 4. There are also the two sides of a triangle is given. And the perimeter is given, you have to find out the third side and you have to find out the area of the triangle. So, question number 6 I am leaving for you. Next, we will be doing question number 5. In question number 5, it is said here that the sides of a triangle are given in the ratio 12 is to 17 is to 25. And the perimeter is given as 540 centimeter. You need to find out the area of this triangle. You see, the ratio of the sides of this triangle are given. The ratio is given as 12 is to 17 is to 25. That means the ratio of the three sides are given. So I have taken the three sides to be equal to 12x. A I have taken as 12x. B I have taken as 17x. And C I have taken as 25x. You see how I am using the ratio. So after that the perimeter is given as 540 centimeter. And perimeter means we know the sum of the three sides. That is A plus B plus C. And it will be equal to 540. There I have put the values of A, B and C. That is 12x, 17x and 25x. Which is equal to 540. And from there we have find out the value of X. That is X is equal to 10. 
after finding out the value of x after forgetting the value of x if you put the value of x in that abc which which you have taken as 12x 17x and 25x we will get the three sides like this a we have finally got as 120 centimeter b we have got as 170 centimeter c we have got as 250 centimeter so now we know the three sides of the triangle that is abc we already know and from abc we can find out s by using this formula and after finding out s you can find out the answer of this question so students you try to solve this question you find out the value of s at first and then after that you write down the formula you plot the values you factorize it you simplify it and after that you find out the answer and please say the answer in the comment section Students, after this, we will be discussing about question number 2. So everybody, if you can see in your book question number 2, that is, the triangular side walls of a flyover has been used for advertisements. The sides of the walls are 122 meter, 22 meter and 120 meter. The advertisements yield an earning of rupees 5000 per meter square per year. A company hired one of its wall for 3 months. You need to find out the rent that the company need to pay in three months. So you see how to do this. So basically what they are saying the triangular sidewalls in the flyover will be used for advertisement by a company. And whenever the company hires walls like this to write the brand names, they need to pay rent also. And here in the question it is said already the rent of the uh, fly, uh, triangular sidewalls of the flyover is rupees 5000 per meter square per year so if the company will hire the wall for three months how much rent they need to pay you need to find it out so basically it will say the flyover boards if you want to see cities where i mean the but walls for me the cover on me the cool the beginning of honor brand day then i get pepsi airtel hook but asian pins so can i got type of company where it's on a advertisement to gonna a wall board on to look at you score it can you use correlate on okay in a school no but okay when I'm zero to authority thank you both don't get down committee hook by your development dot hook and I'm gonna make that a body will ever happen while in a town at the only go but I don't go on a zero company I'm looking for going on it so they have to pay rent so far to yet the question to per year man putty boss or a passes are to go get power meter is correct to look at the volleyball so a con wall today a con combine a tiny mahal can hire correct so, how much money is going to be paid for rent? So, what do you want to do? 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 So, I want to use the site to ABC. So, I want to use S to Liam. S to me 132. So, what do you want to do? So, students, after finding out the value of S, you can find out the area of the triangle by using this formula. That is the Heron's formula. So, you see, I have put the values. I have subtracted, I have got 132 plus into 10 into 12 into 110. After that, we have to factorize this. 132, you have to factorize like this. You see, uh, you have to find out the factors, prime factors of 132. And like that, I have find out that the prime factors of 132 is 2 into 3 into 2 into 11. This is the, these are the factors of 132. Then the factors of 10, that is 2 into 5. Factors of 12, that means 2 into 2 into 3. Factors of 110. 25 into 11 you have to do this if you can write here you have to do this in rough you have to find it out in rough and you have to write it down like this here and after that you have to find out the value of this you have to find out the square of this number you have to find out pairs from one pair one digit will come out so you see how to do that you see from these two and these two one two will come out from this three and this three one three will come out from this 11 and this 11 one eleven will come out from this two and this two one two will come out from this five and this five one five will come out and from this two and this two one two will come out and if we multiply this the answer you will be getting as one three two zero i'll write the unit also that is meter square that means the area of the triangle is one three two zero meter square so students, after finding out the area, the area we have got there, one that is 1320 meter square, we'll find out the rent. And it is said in the question that rent for one year per meter square is rupees 5000. So rent for one year in 1320 meter square, you have to multiply 
that 5000 with 1320 and you will get as 66 lakhs that is the rent for one year but uh, the company will hire the wall for three months only not for one year only for three months so we need to find out the rent for three months so if the rent for one year is this much then rent for one month i have to divide that total amount by 12 and we have got that rent for one month it is five lakh fifty thousand we have divided that sixty six thousand by twelve to find out per month we have to divide it by twelve we have got five lakh fifty thousand and uh, since the company wanted for three months so i have multiplied five lakh fifty thousand into three and we have finally got sixteen thousand sixteen lakhs fifty thousand rupees so that is the final answer of the question students question number one i'm leaving for you question number one you solve yourself and uh, if you have got any problem in question number one you can send me in the comment section i will uh, try to solve it there so with this we have completed exercise 12.1 so by using that formula and little bit if you go through the examples of exercise 12.2 and by using a little bit because they are using this formula only you see the examples how they are solving it and uh, after that you can try to solve exercise 12.2 also so students uh, that's all for today uh, if you have um, understood if you have liked the video please give it a like uh, it, uh, it give us a little bit encouragement uh, to make more videos and if possible you please share uh, the link also to your friends so that they will also be helpful uh, in this lockdown days and um, it is a very easy topic I am sure that you will learn about this topic from this video uh, and I choose this topic because you see uh, the tough topics if I choose uh, in videos like this uh, it may be a little bit uh, problem to get the things very nicely so for time being we are using this small small topics so that uh, your syllabus also goes on the um, uh, means the lockdown time you can use utilize this time by you doing all these problems in your home and uh, uh, when uh, everything will be all right again when we'll be going to school is there we can do the other things so please like share and also if possible subscribe the channel thanks